J7 Sarb Rex. It's the March 1st release. Captain Rex Lego Star Wars. This is the Captain Rex helmet, obviously. Set 75, 3, 4, 9, 854 pieces. Look how cool that looks. We've got the Captain Rex on the top. Got a picture on the side. Got some pictures of the set on the back. Yep, standard Lego helmet with the stand. A couple of pictures of what Captain Rex looks like in the shows. Lego tick -tick -tick on the side. Lego tick -tick -tick on the bottom. Let's put this set together because I can't wait to add this guy to the helmet shelf. Well, the first item of note is that they have certainly changed the helmet instructions. So we're used to getting these black instruction booklets for the Lego Star Wars helmets. And now we're getting white instruction booklets with some interesting Lego greebling on the back and front there. Check that out. They do still have, just like the Scout Trooper and the older helmets, if you flip open the book, it does still have information on the helmet. So that's cool. And the March 1st sets, Lego says, look out. We're making packaging more sustainable. We might have a mix of paper and plastic in here because we're switching to paper. Yeah, no, March 1st set, still no paper bags. The only one I've ever seen it in is the uh, Pyak and the Tolkien from the Avatar, Lego Avatar series. Featuring Lego Color Puke Extreme Color Puke. And there we go. It's Captain Rex in his Phase 2 helmet. Check that out. So we've got the cool little printed plaque down here. Let's give you a 360 view of the helmet here. Got the side here. His little rangefinder can zoop down in front of his face and you can put it back up. It's just kind of plugged in there with a, I call them sticks, but you know, a little Lego thing. Swoop around the back. Some of these are interesting. So they're all kind of plugged in with the Lego. They're not sticks, but you know what I mean? The little Lego, not flexi tubes. Go on the side. I like that he's got all those kill markings on the side of his helmet there. That's pretty accurate. Check that out. Captain Rex is 854 pieces. And in the US, he is $70. Uh, that's actually excellent price per piece as far as he goes. So that's great too. Let's try that again. Things to note about this set. Uh, so this is interesting. This is two separate parts for the vent on the front of the helmet. Those are printed parts. Those aren't stickers this time. If you remember, Darth Vader has stickers. He had two small stickers. Uh, this is actually a third party sticker I got on eBay that makes the vent bigger so it looks better. Um, but this is actually printed on these two pieces here. So that's interesting. I kind of wonder why they do do more printing considering this, all this stuff is stickers that could have been printed too. And this is a sticker up here. But it's pretty cool. I like the way they put it together. I like that there's, there's a, a definite clone helmet shape to this as opposed to like the stormtrooper shape. So it's cool that they, they definitely differentiated them. And this definitely looks more like a clone helmet than a stormtrooper helmet. I like how they did the detailing here. <clears throat> I know some of the complaints are that this vent doesn't come down far enough like it does on the, the actual clone troopers. Uh, but I, I don't think it really does on the stormtrooper either. I guess you've got a, a little vent sticker on that white piece for the stormtrooper helmet to make it look like that. I guess they maybe kind of could have done that down here with a sticker or something, but I don't know. It's it's hard to get one for one with the helmets with something that's so rounded off with things that are made out of hard edges like Legos. 
And I think they did a pretty good job here. Like I said, all of this stuff, when I say sticks, I don't know what these parts are called, but these, to me, they're just little Lego sticks. And they're all going into parts that have a little hole in them to make these go on in a place where you probably would have a harder time getting that to be in there, right? So that's kind of cool. That's like that. This part is like that. This whole antenna structure is put in there that way. These are on little hinges. So they actually fold down into place there. Just like a lot of the helmet sets do. It's really cool. There's not much to say about the helmets. You know, either they look good or they don't. I think this one looks really good. Gotta love Captain Rex, right? Now we're gonna put him up on the shelf with all the rest of the helmets. Uh, my only complaint is I normally mod all of my helmets and put the little figure here. I, I don't have a Captain Rex to put on here yet. I'm going to have to get another Captain Rex figure and put him on there. And yes, for those of you paying attention, I totally missed this front one by four piece right under the sticker piece there earlier in my haste to get this together and do a video. So that's what he looks like when you actually put all of the pieces on the front of the helmet. All right, here's the status of the helmet shelf so far. We got the Dark Trooper, TIE Fighter Pilot, Storm Trooper. We got the Death Trooper, which is an unofficial mock. We got the Scout Trooper. We got Darth Vader with the uh, third party sticker. We got Boba Fett. We got the Mandalorian. We got Luke Skywalker's Red 5 helmet. We've got a mock for a Tusken Raider. We've got a mock for Wrecker from the Bad Batch. We've got a mock for Leia's Bausch helmet, which is funny because on March 1st, a new version of that is coming out from Lego. And we've got the Captain Rex helmet. That is awesome. All right, guys, once again, my name is Jay. This is Seven Star Bricks. Give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Leave a comment down below and I will be coming back at you in probably one more day because I'm going to do the Commander Cody set next. Oh, yeah.